today. From Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is the National Football League. and the Carolina Panthers taking on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. BA Sports coverage of the National Football League is in Uptown Charlotte, North Carolina at Bank of America Stadium. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerged from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. the kicker Jake Elliott ready to get this one started and off we go from uptown Charlotte this fielded right at the goal line and they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line so the same result and he opted for the touchback and here we go for the first time with the Panthers offense led out by their new quarterback for 2021 in his fourth season overall now after three with the Jets it's Sam Darnold. Many people put stock in a quarterback's record as a starter, and Sam Darnold just 13 and 25 overall with the Jets. So many think that he's not going to be the guy, but there's a lot of talent there, and the Carolina Panthers are expecting it to come out. This could be a classic case of a change of scenery could do him well, plus the surrounding cast that he's inheriting in Carolina better than anything he played with in New York. It's a great opportunity for Sam Darnold. On first down, it's Darnold. And he will find the open man. It's DJ Moore. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Everyone in a Carolina uniform happy to see that first down catch by DJ Moore, but none happier than his new quarterback, Sam Darnold, who never really had a wide receiver one in New York. Now he has one in DJ Moore, who's gone over 1,100 yards in each of his last two seasons third in the league in 2020 in yards per reception. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for, and it's second down. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see him take a shot downfield. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Throwing here on third down, Darnold. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. So they give up the completion there. But defensively, Charles, you're going up against a quarterback here who's had some moments, but really a lot of ups and downs in the early part of his career. What's the plan against a guy like this? Well, you want to rattle him first and foremost, bring some people at him, a couple extra guys in the pocket, see if he can handle it. The second thing, you want to make him think. Show him one look, go to another, disguise a few things, make him throw into what you call your defensive traps and try and make some good plays on the ball and get a few takeaways. Darnold gets this to McCaffrey, and he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive, he may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going to the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. On second down, McCaffrey. 
And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. A first carry for the Canadian-born Chuba Hubbard. And he'll get a little over two, maybe a full three down to the 32-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Arnold will hand off to McCaffrey. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. opening drive coming up. This is third down. Here's Darnold. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Darnold on target to Moore for the Panther first. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them. And now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to small up the ball carrier. Still nine remaining on second down. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The 13th play now coming on this opening drive. Here's third down. Darnold. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop him right around the one. Second and goal from the one. Hubbard, and he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Chuba Hubbard taking it in from a yard out. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And 
this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it was Chuba Hubbard who finished it off with a touchdown run. Touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Well, here come the Eagles on offense, and it's Jalen Hurts at the controls in his second season now out of Oklahoma. A lot of expectations for Jalen Hurts this year, but he has the support of the franchise, including the man who owns the franchise. Had a four-game audition at the tail end of last year and did enough that the Eagles sent Carson Wentz to Indianapolis. They're expecting Jalen Hurts to be their quarterback of the present and the future. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A good push there from that offensive line as Sanders able to take that forward for a gain of about six on first down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And they got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving the running back a crease to run through. And has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. sets up to throw it. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? Jalen Rager was the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Hurts to throw. And he'll slide to a halt here, still a little shy of the first down marker. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Throwing his hurts. And that is incomplete. And the other day they told us, well, we've got third and five or less. We have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Here's the Eagles' new punter for 2021, Aaron Sipos, to punt it away. Back deep, Alex Erickson. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. 
The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you run into big-time races. It means they got out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. On first down, they'll start out with Hubbard. And he's brought down. Trying to escape the shadow of their goalpost. That helped 10 yards. First down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On the ground, it's Hubbard. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the 8. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Back to throw, Darnold. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Terrace Marshall, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Moore. And he'll go out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. Joseph Charlton and the punt team on now for the Panthers. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 37. Hurts. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Hurt's going to give it to Sanders on the option. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards there and a first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Right back to Sanders on first down. He'll get only a couple down to the 44. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. 
They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts out to his left. And here he'll be. Shy of the 35 at the 36. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Hurts. Forced out to his left. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. And that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Hurts going to keep it again. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. So that was all you're looking for on a play like that. Get the first down and keep the drive moving. Yeah, it just looked to me like he just said to himself, I've got this. I'll take it. I'll pick it up, and let's keep moving. Get the first down, get a new set, and let's start over. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Two yards the loss, second and 12. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. You've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. They'll look to throw. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. And he is going to have an Eagles first down by about a yard as they find a way to convert there on third down and five. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. Line of scrimmage, the 15, it's first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He delivers another to Goddard, complete. A good rally to the football, keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. As a defense, you're more bounced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. second down it's Sanders he's gonna get four out of this as he's down to the 10 yard line on any running play that's called they're always hoping that's gonna break big and go the distance but when you get a nice game like that 
you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. He'll look to throw, and he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. The kick by Elliott is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The possession of the football goes over to Carolina. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A first down throw, Darnold. Got his man, Robbie Anderson. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And now here's a deep shot that's complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It's a gain of 35. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. A fake to McCaffrey, now Darnold. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking to get that one to DJ Moore, and now it's second down. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. The good signal callers would never go back in the huddle and play the blame game because they need those guys to protect him. But on that last one, his offensive line, they lost their leverage very quickly. And that's why they were able to get to him and hit him as he tried to throw the football and force an incompletion. To throw is Darnold. And that will be incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Just a little beyond the reach there of his receiver. That's probably one he wishes he had back. He wishes it had been seven on seven in practice, or maybe even routes versus air, because that's a completion he makes, what, 9.9 .9 times out of 10? Just missed that one. 
And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left. And this score will stay right where it is. Jalen Hurts in this offense trotting back out. His feet, what he's been able to do individually running the ball, it's kind of kept him in this game. No doubt about it, because if he's not making the plays that we've seen, they are really getting blown out in this one. I don't think they have any chance at all. He's keeping them in striking distance, hoping to get some help from the defensive side of the ball so that maybe some of these plays can turn into plays that maybe put them in the lead. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, sent this one off target. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. They'll set up to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Jalen Rager was the intended receiver, and it's third down. Well, so far on this drive, they've done some good work. They force incompletions on first and second down, bring up third and 10. That brings up the big question. Do they bring pressure, or do they play coverage on this down? Third down, he'll drop to throw. That swung out wide to Sanders. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. A short game that doesn't get him the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. The Eagles send out their punter now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And that ball's gonna angle out at the three yard line, a beauty. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And they will start this drive with just terrible field position, backed up inside their own five. But we have seen teams be bold here and take shots, right? Sometimes you go max protection, make it a one receiver route, and take your shot downfield and see what happens. And occasionally, we've seen success occur. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. Second down at five. Let's get it Let's get it A give running right, it's Hubbard. And he'll lose yardage and be down at the seven yard line. A loss on that play and now third down gets tougher, third and six. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Come 
The Panthers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and six. Now Darnold. Open man is Anderson. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A couple of former Jets, Darnold to Anderson, first down Carolina. They were backed up to start the drive, but how about that aggressiveness? Firing it downfield right away. Nice job there getting out towards what would have been their normal starting position. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Faking the give, Darnold. And he's got a man on the crossing route. That's Moore. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Call that a very strong gain of 24. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him. Why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Darnold now to throw. Again, he finds more. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he's got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. On the give, this is Hubbard. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. On second and nine, Darnold. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. But fortunately, a Panther was able to get on this. So Carolina keeps the ball. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage. But I think the good news outweighs it. Able to retain possession. That was big for them. The good news, they kept the ball. Bad news, it's third and long. Now it's Darnold. They'll run the screen with Hubbard. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. Here's Joseph Charlton now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But it definitely was excellent, wasn't it? The Eagles.
Bengals offense set to begin their next drive. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. They're going to look to throw. He'll find the Heisman Trophy winner, Devontae Smith. And he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. His first catch, good for 16 and a first. And what a year Devontae Smith had at Alabama in 2020. The first wide receiver to win the Heisman since Desmond Howard in 1991 while he was at Michigan. The 10th overall pick of the Eagles, who traded up from number 12 to get him. He's reunited with his old quarterback, Jalen Hurts, from a few years back at Alabama. 117 catches last year, led all of major college football. On first and 10, it's Hurts. Throw right side, caught by Goddard, the tight end. Seven yards to pick up there. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Open man is Goddard, the tight end. A gain of six there on first. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. on third down two for five to this point this is third and four they'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw it's caught by Sanders and they lose yardage on the play back at the 45 yard line he loses four and it brings up four well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on here to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. Shoot! 
The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. A shotgun snap for Darnold. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver there, Ian Thomas. And that takes us from second to third down. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. The Panthers on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and six. Here's Darnold. He'll get this complete to the running back, Hubbard. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. A short gain there of just four. That'll bring up a fourth down. Boy, that one was well read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Here's the Panthers punter now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. A 40-yard punt, no return, and that will come the offense as they take over. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 44. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Second and 10. Here's Sanders. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. The Eagles on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and eight. They'll look to throw here. And a throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively, or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere. But it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. There's D.J. Moore as he and the rest of the offense head back out there, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. Is getting big yardage with each and every one of them. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion 
put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Javon Hargrave there on the stop. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Here's second and ten. Back to throw. Off to Thomas on the left side. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync. Stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. Fletcher Cox able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Well, he was really focused downfield, but there was really no viable options. The coverage was too good. And the defense really quickened the tempo of that play with their pass rush because there was nowhere for him to go with the football. The only place he ended up, down on the ground. Here's the Panthers punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at the 34. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. It's an eight-yard pickup, and that'll make this a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Derek Brown able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hit him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match, and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he sports free, you've got someone to tackle him. Second and 14. A give running left. It's Sanders. Three yards is the pickup, but it leaves him still needing 11 here on third down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Eagles on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This is third and 11. Rolling to his left. Room to run inside the 40, and all the way down to the 33-yard line. 
Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Under the category of obvious, you hate giving up a first down a third and long. And somehow he finds his way downfield and picks it up. Yeah, if you look at the coverage defensively, oh, this is great, but no one accounted for him at the quarterback spot. At some point, you actually have to tackle him and get him on the ground short of the first down marker. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 down at the 33. Looking to throw. And quickly finding Rager. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Four yards, the pickup, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. But first down, Hurts. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. From the 21, it's second and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Time to give more credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This is third down and 12. Throwing his hurts. And he's unable to haul it in. So it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings up fourth. They went with the dive look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs. Blanketed everyone. Took away all the passing angles. Thus, the incompletion. The kick by Elliott is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. To the field goal. Here's Elliott to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. The Panthers now set to take over offensively. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Off of play action, Darnold. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. And Robbie Anderson makes a nice catch there for a first down. Now in his second year with the Panthers, but he has a history with Sam Darnold, his new quarterback. They played together with the Jets in Darnold's first two seasons, 2018 and 2019. Darnold on first down. And he's got the hook up to Moore. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman. He's in Orlando, and he'll have our EA Sports halftime report. Darnold finding Anderson here, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A good-looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better without getting beat deep for big passes. On first down, Darnold. Over the middle complete, it's Moore. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. To the air again, Darnold. And he'll go right back to Moore, complete again. And he's gonna get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. Now the Panthers gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And just a yard to go here on second down. Darnold from the gun. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. Touchdown! D.J. Moore on the touchdown throw from Sam Darnold. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. And that lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played with the analytics. There's going to be a lot more of going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other end. Just a little bit of time left on the clock. Hey, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. Gonzalez now to add the extra point. It's up. It's good. Our score, 14 to 6. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And this will not be brought out, it's a touchback. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone to potentially tie this game up. First down with Hurts. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. 
He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, and that'll bring up second down. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man when in coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties, and he's able to knock that one away. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. This ball complete to Rager. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Again, he'll drop to throw. And that's complete to Sanders. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. From the 45 on second down, Hurts. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's a second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Back to throw again. Steps away to his left. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. effort but it's well short and this score will stay right where it is the long distance shot before break comes up empty but now Charles flipped the script time for likely one more play as field position becomes an issue yeah when you talk about field position remember if this kick is missed the ball comes back to where the spot that they snapped it from. So field position becomes a factor. I think at this spot, you might also want to think about throwing the Hail Mary. You know, put the ball up in the air. Maybe you can get six out of it instead of three. Yeah, see what happens. And they'll start on the ground with Hubbard. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. So it's halftime here in Charlotte with the Panthers out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. We saw a strong first half throwing the football by Sam Darnold. He's thrown for over 200 yards already, and his guys have the lead as well. As we get you back to Brandon God. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half.
ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Eagles ready to go on offense to begin this third quarter. And they do trail, but they have a chance to possess the football first to try and do something about it. And that certainly makes it something of an important drive for them because is it going to win the game? No, but you have to do something to bring some life to your sideline. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. Buying time to his... And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. Left side here to Sanders. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before on a screen pass. Not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. So now a fresh set of downs, first and 10 after roughing the passer. He'll look to throw. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. Seven yards, the pick up there. That coach is always harp on the quarterback reading the defense and getting it to the open man. That's good recognition there. And how about what he did after the catch? Yeah, hit your tight end, let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, not many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? It's a second down run with Sanders. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Another run here with Sanders, and he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. I like this focus there because he wasn't thinking about breaking that one big. All he thought about was, I need one. Let's go get that. Ended up picking up two. First down, it's Sanders, and this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. When you run in the slant, timing is everything. And against that man coverage, there was no space available and incompletion as a result. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. He'll drop to throw. 
steps away. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Well, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those in their back pocket, don't they? You have to, and if you don't keep abreast of what you're doing, you lock into a rhythm and make it easy for the opposition. And he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes. <laughs> Fletcher Cox able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball gets super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. Second and 14 as they've got work to do here after the sack. Now whistles, flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. Not a great start to this drive. You had the sack, now the full start. I mean, it doesn't take much to either read lips or just imagine what the head coach is saying right now. Get your head in the game, guys. Let's go. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. He's not gonna give me to throw is Darnold. Got you, got you, and that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. Got a man right side, it's McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. And it's a 15-yard pickup, but it'll lead to a fourth down. There's another example where defensive coaches constantly preach not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. Here's the Panthers punter now as he's on to kick it away. We'll call that a 49-yard punt with a return of just two. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Eagles offense back out getting set for this next drive. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game. All right, in baseball, I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. From the gun, it's Hurts. Being chased out left. He finds an opening past the 40. 
And this turns into a nice gain with a slide at the end. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Partner, as a quarterback, sometimes you just got to know when the clock has gone off in your head, it's time to go. Tuck it and get all you can. Fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Hassan Reddick coming in hard there on the blitz, and he gets him seven yards behind the line of scrimmage. What a big 2020 for Hassan Reddick. Really emerged on the scene as he tied for fourth in the NFL with a career high of 12 and a half sacks for the Arizona Cardinals last year. Ended up signing with the Carolina Panthers in March, a team that was 23rd in sacks in 2020. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. He'll be dropped shy of the 40 despite an excellent display of footwork. It's a four-yard pickup, and it's going to be third down and a ways to go here, third and 14. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. They'll roll him out right. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. And they had an extra defensive back on the field on that play, and the coverage was excellent. He tried to pull it down and run for it, but they rallied to him and kept him short of a first down. The Eagles send out their punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Thirty-nine yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Panthers will have a first and ten from deep in their own territory. Carolina getting set to take the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. Oh, he sheds himself free. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Panther first down. We saw it at Stanford. It does not surprise me to see it here in the NFL as well. This is one elusive young man. He set the NCAA record in 2015, 3,864 all-purpose yards. Listen, after watching that move, I just called for the trainer. I think I pulled a hammy just watching it. <laughs> On first down, it's Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. He finds his man complete. That's more. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That'll put him over 150 yards receiving now. Quite a ball game and a first down. Keep 
Now Darnold. Thomas has got it, complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus, and indeed, he gets enough for the first down. Now a give right side McCaffrey. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. From the 50, it's Darnold. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. For whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. On is the punter Charlton now as he's able to get this one away. And that one hits a little too close to the goal line, and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. And Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They'll run on first down. Sanders. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 53 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. On first down, it's Sanders. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 38. They're going to look to throw. Open man has got it, the tight end. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 
Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdowns to this point, and what's usually a direct correlation, very few explosive plays. That's been their issue, not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And this is going to be incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Second and 10 now, third quarter from Charlotte. Back to throw here. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Brian Burns, he's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. And this one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And that'll get the lead down to five. So it's a third field goal for him now. He's accounted for all nine points. I look down to the sideline, though. You can just tell they weren't too happy for three. They wanted six. So they have to have six. Look, he's keeping them afloat, but they really need to do exactly what you talked about. They need to get into the end zone and score some touchdowns. Otherwise, he's going to have to kick a lot more field goals than just the three he's already put through the post. After the field goal, here's Elliott to kick it away. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. First and 10, Darnold. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Darnold will hand off to McCaffrey. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second and six. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. 45 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Oh, you know 
A first down throw, Darnold to the right side, and he's got more complete. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Five yards remain on second down. Here's Darnold. He gets it to Thomas. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. I'm wondering if the same thing went through your mind as mine. When I see a big man like that make a catch, all I keep thinking to myself is, big man with football. <laughs> Look out, everyone. He may not juke you a whole lot, right? He may not run past you because of his size. You're talking about a guy weighing in the 270 range. But boy, once he gets his mitts on the ball, he's going to be tough to bring down. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. False start there. That will set the offense back five yards. Brandon, the lineman certainly flinched there before the snap. A good call. That's going to set him back five yards. Darnold. Throw left side complete. That's Marshall. And he will reach the five yard line before going out of bounds. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. First and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now it's Darnold. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. D.J. Moore, his second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Panthers add on to their lead. Well, that makes this a two-score ball game. And, you know, the way this thing has been going, Charles, two scores kind of feels like three or four scores. Yeah, that's a great observation. It's been a heck of a battle, hasn't it? Points have been at a premium throughout this game. So you have to wonder, is this going to be too much for them to overcome? Gonzalez good on the extra point. And it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. Taken in at the three. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Right 
And out now come the Eagles. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. They'll look to throw. It's caught by Sanders. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 10 yards there and an eagle first down. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. But first down, Hurts got his man complete over the middle. That's Smith. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. That'll be caught. Rager with it. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. And that was nice. Jalen Hurts to Jalen Rager. Jalen to Jalen. And the Eagles are hoping to see much more of that. Just 31 catches as a rookie for Rager. They're hoping that that number at least doubles in 2021. Hurts sets up to throw it. And Sanders has got it complete. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From the 38, Hurts. Complete. Smith has it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 23. Hurts to his former Alabama teammate Smith for an eagle first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Throwing his hurts. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll run with Sanders. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. 72 yards on the ground for him so far. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll set up a throw. Touchdown, Eagles! Dallas Goddard from three yards out. And the Eagles have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. 
Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And this is back to a five-point game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. up past the 45 before being tackled. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And across the midfield stripe into Eagle territory. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's gonna break for big yardage, but he understands the situation and taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. From just shy of midfield, Darnold. Oh, he'll want that one back, incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Whenever I see an in route dropped, as we just saw in that play, I'm always thinking that in the back of their mind, they're worried about what's coming at them because they're going towards traffic on that route as opposed to being away from it and maybe having a little bit more space. Darnold on third down. Over the middle, it's Thomas. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Draw play, Darnold giving to McCaffrey. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Fletcher Cox there for the tackle. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? The old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. But listen, when you've got the lead, there's absolutely no sense trying to fit a ball in where you shouldn't. You can see the coaching in his head taking place on that play because he saw he had a receiver in the area. He just put it well over his head out of harm's way. Well, they need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. 
And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. 70 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 16 times. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. First down, Darnold, and Thomas has it. Seven yards, the pick up there. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. Second down and three. Now off the bootleg, Darnold. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. Touchdown, Panthers! Christian McCaffrey from 21 yards away. And the Panthers add on to their lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Now back to work for Miles Sanders in the Philly offense. Responsible for well over 100 yards of total offense, but still hasn't found the end zone. You think that's in the back of his mind going into this drive? It's always in the back of the mind of a player who's having that type of a day because you want that gratification for your work, right? You want that stamp on top of everything. But bottom line for him, He's doing great work. Sometimes it just opens it up for other people to actually get into the end zone for him. The runners you know, would they rather have 60 yards, three touchdowns, or 150 no touchdowns? I think more than likely. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. Hassan Reddick picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. Ball at the 24 and a second and 11. Another try after the first down sack. Hurts. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. I like the thinking there because right after a sack, it can be a great time to call for a screen to your running back and use the eagerness of the defense against them. Able to gain some positive yards out of this one and make things a little bit easier for him on third down. Now flags come in here. Look like one of the Eagles might have moved. Maybe anticipating a blitz and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up and they jumped. Back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. 
Here's Hurts to throw. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, that has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Darnold now to throw. Again, he targets more. This one is complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. to throw Darnold. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. That pattern and scheme was well defensed on third down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, and they stop him short. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. They'll run for it. McCaffrey. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. And the drive stays in motion with a nice eight-yard pickup on fourth. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Darnold on first down. Now he's flushed out right. And here he'll get it down to the seven. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and then it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Trying to get to the outside. This is McCaffrey. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, 
as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. This is caught, and he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. A gain of four on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. If this were baseball, we'd call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. fan of that last call and he's going to go ahead and challenge it. The thing that they'll be looking at is the spot of the football and uh, this is always such a tough one for officials to get exactly right. Not just because of how fast the game's going but just trying to get the right sight line to the football. That's not always easy. We'll see what they decide here. Challenge that one successfully. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we got to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. Gonzalez to add the PAT. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive goes eight plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. the touchdown. Here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Getting set to go again. Dallas Goddard marching back onto the field. And look at the numbers. They have gotten him more involved. I guess the question now, Charles, defensively, how do you make him less involved? That's always a key question, isn't it? Sometimes other guys are starting to play really well and you shift your attention to them. You got to make sure you've got full focus on him because he's so good that if you don't, he finds a way to make plays. Always have two guys in his vicinity, usually trying to bump him off the line of scrimmage and get him out of his route. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. To throw again on second down. Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. 
And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one covers 29 yards, first down. They're going to hurry back to the line now. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. It's a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Escaping the pressure. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Down in this one, they needed that score, but they'll have to hold at least for the time being. You're exactly right. Points that they had to have. As you said, they have to regroup now and see if they can get them another way. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Hurts. Looking here for Smith downfield. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Open man. It's Rager. He's got it. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That's swung out wide to Sanders. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds left to play. Four yards remain for second down. From the gun, it's Hurts. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And the Eagles are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. And now here comes their final timeout as they take it with eight ticks remaining. throw again. The quick slant caught. Touchdown. Dallas Goddard, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Eagles have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. They find themselves open for an easy touchdown. Elliott on for the extra point. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. So that drive in total eight plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone.
So time definitely not in their favor. Down two scores, but they'll try the onside kick. And the Panthers are going to recover here, and that should be enough to get them the victory. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Darnold is going to take a knee, and that should just about do it. So this one is over, a victory for Carolina. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without major adjustments, just doing them better. And that got it done in this one. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Panthers are winners here as we say so long from Charlotte.